Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is your host, Thomas Harry from On The Hot Podcast. Today, I have some bonus content for you guys today regarding the uh, sport in college football. But before I get into the bonus segment for you guys, I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. I hope you guys enjoyed your new year's festivities last night. Hope everyone was safe. Uh, had a lot of fun partying. Make sure you guys have a great 2023. I believe this year is going to be a great year for this podcast and then just myself. Hope you guys have a great year as well. But the bonus content I will have for you guys today, I will be sharing my opinion on which team has been the best college football team in the 21st century. So I thought about doing this last night, watching the college football playoffs and watching all the other bowl games that transpired over the last few days. And I thought this would be a great segment to talk about college football. So I believe the greatest college football team in the 21st century, it's up there with a lot of teams. But I think the most special team and the best team of this century is the 2019 LSU Tigers football team. This was a loaded roster. This team was truly special. I believe it is up there for one of the greatest college football teams in college football history. This roster was absolutely loaded. You had five players from this LSU Tigers team that was drafted in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. And then there was a total of 14 players from that LSU Tigers team from that national championship team that were selected uh, rounds one through seven in the 2020 NFL Draft. So when you have 14 players selected, that's nearly a record. Uh, I believe the record right now is at 15 Georgia Bulldogs. Uh, I believe just set that this past NFL Draft. But this 2019 LSU team was truly special. 14 players overall selected in that draft. And the team was led by a lot of key contribute, uh, key contribute, uh, tribute players that contributed a lot to this team, mainly offensively. When you had quarterback Joe Burrow, who I'll get to at the end of this segment, but you had Joe Burrow at the quarterback position. You had Jamar Chase at the wide receiver position. On the other side, playing alongside him, you had Justin Jefferson as a wide receiver. You had Clyde Edwards at Lair at the running back position. You had Patrick Queen at the middle linebacker position. You had Grant Delpit at the safety position. And then you had head coach Ed Orkin, who proved that he is a great coach and one of the greatest coaches in the country. Did not coach this year, took a year off after leaving the LSU program in 2021. Hopefully he can get back on his feet. He's still young for being a coach at 61 years of age. Hopefully he can get back to coaching this upcoming college football season and bring the best out of a program, hopefully get them to a national championship, just like he did with the, he, at his time when he was with the LSU Tigers. So those guys were the key uh, contributors to that LSU Tigers team. The team was absolutely phenomenal from start to finish, from August all the way to January. The team finished 15-0 and on the season, uh, counting the college football playoffs. In the regular season, they had key wins over Texas, Florida, Auburn, Alabama and Georgia and all those teams I just mentioned were at top 10 programs at the time that LSU played those programs all of those teams were really good and LSU had their way with all these teams and then they you look at their resume what they did in the college football playoffs that same exact season they went on to play Oklahoma in the first round Oklahoma at the time was led by Lincoln Riley Jalen Hurts at the quarterback position after he just transferred from Alabama and went to play at Oklahoma uh, his senior year. And then they also had CeeDee Lamb at the wide receiver position. That LSU Tigers team absolutely dismantled them and dominated them in the first round of the playoffs, putting, uh, winning that game by over 35 points and giving, putting 63 points up on the scoreboard, a 63-point special on the Oklahoma Sooners that night. And then they went in the national championship game to play one of the hottest uh prospects in college football that we have seen since Andrew Luck at the quarterback position and Trevor Lawrence. This was a great matchup between two quarterbacks that were on the rise in their respective careers. Uh, when you talk about Joe Burrow and Trevor Lawrence, they met up in the national championship game that year and LSU cruised by Trevor Lawrence and Dab, uh, Dabo Sweeney in the national championship game to secure a national championship for the LSU Tigers. That was a historic run, and I don't think there's any college football team that's going to be as good as that LSU 2019 team in quite some time. It's going to take a lot. It's going to take a lot of recruiting. It's going to take the great head coach to put that thing, put the right pieces together like Ed Oregon did that year in 2019 for LSU to have the success that they did. So 
this team was really special, but the icing on the cake for this team that year was the story of Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow was a senior in college football. He was, uh, if you guys remember, he was at Ohio State uh, for his first three years in college football. He was there since 2015 and then uh, all the way to 2018, transferred his uh, 2019 year, uh, in the 2019 year for his senior season. He was be sitting as a backup quarterback on that Ohio State Buckeyes team for quite some time. He was even there when Ezekiel Elliott was still there uh, years and years ago. He uh, was behind the late, uh, the, the late great Dwayne Haskins at the quarterback position. He did not get any playing time and just wanted to go somewhere that he could get his chance to prove that he is worthy of being one of the best quarterbacks in the country. He did that in 2019 when he bet on himself and transferred to LSU to play in a loaded SEC conference. I still believe the SEC is the best conference in college football as we speak today. And it was just as special of what it is today in the 2019 season. So Joe Burrow, that was a gutsy move, but it paid off for him. He had the best coming out party, putting, uh, like I just said, he bet on himself and the, and possessed one of, if not the greatest Heisman Trophy uh, season by a Heisman Trophy winner in college football history. His senior year was truly special. I just named all the great teams that they beat during the senior season and made them look ordinary. And, and offensively, when he had the ball in his hands, made all those teams look ordinary that were top teams, including the college football playoffs that I just mentioned. So his senior year stats, he had a completion percentage of 68.8. He completed 68.8% uh, of his passes that he threw. He had 5,671 passing yards, 60 passing touchdowns, and only six interceptions with a passer rating of 202.0. Those are video game numbers. If I were to create a Madden player and make a quarterback, it is nearly impossible to have a passer rating of 202.0. I would have to play all games on rookie mode to do what Joe Burrow did in his senior season at LSU. It was truly remarkable, truly special, and he punched his ticket to his future. That is the reason why he's one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. That is one of the reasons why he got to the Super Bowl last year in his second season in the NFL, despite having one of, if not the worst, offensive lines in football last year. He is a game changer. He thrives when the pressure uh, when the pressure is on. When he he contributes and wins games when it matters most. Joe Burrow has been a winner since he's been in the NFL. He's been in a winner since uh, this college football senior season started. And it all started right here this season why Joe Burrow is a, a special player to watch on every, every, any given week during the NFL season with the Cincinnati Bengals. But it all started with his senior se season uh, at LSU. But that is who I believe the best college football team is in the 21st century. The 2019 LSU Tigers were something special. But that is all the time I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. This is your host, Thomas Terry, signing off. And I'll see you guys on next week's episode.